Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Benefactor Glendale in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's been a long time since I've customized this car and it is on sale this week, so I figured today was a good day to customize it. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the vehicle. So to start off with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on that. Of course, the brakes as well, for sure. We have the front custom bumper that we can add to this thing if we want to. Um, I think I will go for it because it gets rid of the front plate, which I don't like, so we might as well do that. We're going to go all the way up on the engine and of course for the exhaust we have the double exhaust we have the dual shotgun exhaust and of course we also have the single big bore exhaust um let's go for the dual shotgun i kind of like that look for the hood we have a secondary hood we got the classic hood primary and of course secondary we also have the pinstripe hood and the pinstripe hood secondary um i think that i kind of just want to go for the classic hood primary um i i like that look um it's pretty good so we'll go for that. For the headlights, we are going to go Xenon, of course. For the plate, we are going to go yellow on black as well. For the respray of the car itself, um, could go for something like crazy, like the crew color. However, I'm not really feeling it too much on this thing. Could go for something like kind of basic, like a silver, something like that. Um, I'm wondering about like a kind of a weird color. Like what if we go for like a bronze or something like that? I feel like a bronze could look kind of okay on this. Um, Oh, I kind of have an idea. What if we go for like a bluish silver for the primary and for the secondary? And then for the pearlescent, we go for something a little crazy um, just to change up, change up the color a little bit. What if we go for, where's bronze? Let's see, what if we go for a bronze on the bluish silver? Eh, it looks okay. Gold looks okay as well. I actually kind of like gold better. Let's go for a gold pearlescent. I don't usually go for pearlescent, so this is this is something a little different. Uh, we got the roof rack that we can put on this thing. We got the day trip luggage, and we have the fully loaded luggage as well. Um, I'm going to go for just the regular roof rack. I kind of like that look. For the skirts, we can add some onto the vehicle. We might as well, I suppose. For the suspension, we can slam this thing right down. I actually don't really like the look of it all the way down, so we'll go sports suspension on that uh, because... It's still a little bit off the ground, so that's good. Race transmission, we will add that onto the vehicle. Of course, we can change up the trunk a little bit. We can go for the pinstripe trunk, uh, which literally changes nothing because both the primary and secondary colors are the same, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the turbo, we will add that. That maxes out our acceleration bar, which of course means nothing, but you know, nonetheless, we, we've done it now, so that's good. Uh, we're going to check in here and see if there's any rims that I like. Um, no, there's not. What about in the track category? I feel like... Ooh, I feel like we could go for something something kind of cool, something kind of unique. I feel like some of these rims actually do look... Ooh, the Forged 5? Why does that look kind of good on this thing, though? Let's add those. I, I actually really like that look. Um, now, for the color of these, what do we want to go for? We can go for a black. We could go for, like, a stone silver. Could go for a white. Um, I don't mind white, actually. Looks okay. What about a bronze? Uh, seeing as how we... Well, we didn't go for bronze. We went for gold, but... Bronze doesn't look too bad either. I kind of want to go for bronze. We're going to do it. We're going to go for bronze. Uh, bulletproof tires, we will add those onto the vehicle, of course. And for the windows, we're going to tint those all the way out, obviously. Um, this thing looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's take it down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the vehicle. Okay, here we are on the ground. Let's see what this thing sounds like. The vehicle actually sounds pretty damn good, I gotta say. Um, for being, you know, the Glendale, I mean, it's not bad. Um, I do like the look of this car overall. The uh, the yellow headlights are kind of cool. Um, the bronze wheels look better than I actually expected on this as well. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the color choice that we went for. Um, I do think that it looks pretty good. The car is not handling as well as I remember it handling. I wonder if that's because of the suspension setting that we chose. Uh, that's interesting. The Glendale, I mean, I think it's a pretty solid car and especially on sale, I, I don't really think you can necessarily go too wrong with actually buying one of these. Um, it does have some nice customization and of course this thing is actually a Benny's vehicle. So you can turn this thing into a Benny's car, uh, which allows it to have a lot more customization options. and. I actually promised a long time ago that I was going to make a Glendale custom video, 
And I think that this week, later on, we are actually going to do that. We're gonna turn this car into the Glendale Custom and just see the difference between the regular Glendale and the Glendale Custom. So we'll go ahead and see the differences between the regular Glendale and the Glendale Custom. Now, as far as the performance of the Glendale goes, this is one of the faster sedans in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, that's not to say that it is the fastest. The fastest sedan in GTA Online right now is the Lampadati Cinquemila. So that's, uh, that's one to watch out for. Um, but the Glendale is within, I believe, the top 10 fastest sedans, although it is quite high in that list, and uh, the Lampadati Cinquemila absolutely dominates the sedans category in GTA. So um, don't expect to win any races with the Glendale if you, uh, if you were planning on racing this thing. Um, I don't exactly think it's the greatest car to race in. Um, judging by the overall performance so far, um, I'm not super, super impressed. Uh, it does have some good customization, this car, but as far as performance goes, um, you probably shouldn't expect that this thing would be like a fantastic performer. Um, but in case you did expect that, it, well, it, it's not. The Glendale's decent enough. Uh, it has okay acceleration. I'm not gonna say it's anything better than okay. Um, it's handling is kind of subpar. Uh, it does tend to have some weird oversteer and then a lot of body roll and just, it's really just not a satisfying car to, uh, try to drive quickly. Let's just say that, uh, the top speed is also relatively weak on this vehicle as well. So that's not super ideal. Overall performance wise, the Glendale is not a great car. Uh, customization wise, it's not super great either, but the customization is definitely a, uh, a big factor in why people even choose to own a Glendale. So, you know, it's a, it's a good car. Um, it, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a good car. That's, that's all it is. It's, it's okay. You know, um, it's not great. It's not like terrible. It's just okay. Uh, it does tend to have like some very severe understeer, which really drives me nuts. So that might be why I don't really love the performance of this thing a lot. Um, it's certainly not my favorite car to drive. Uh, I will, I will also just say that, um, it does look really good. I do like the customization that we went for today. Um, even though it's been absolutely thrashed throughout this review, this is like maybe one of my worst driving reviews uh, that I've done recently. So that is unfortunate. But the Benefactor Glendale, I mean, on sale, you can't really go wrong with buying it. Just don't expect the performance to actually be any good. Uh, and even, you know, for the sale price, there are cars that will outperform this thing quite heavily. So just be wary of that. You might want to end up saving your money. Uh, if you really like Mercedes and you really like old Mercedes, then, you know, you might want to pick up a Glendale. But other than that, I would say you could probably avoid it. Anyway, guys, that is it for the Benefactor Glendale customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.